Hey coaches, what's going on? It is Coach Beast here with another video and I have a good one for you today. I want to talk to you about the benefits of running the Maryland I formation, particularly the Beast Maryland I formation. Really excited to share this with you because, you know, for those who don't know, I got a playbook coming out that's going to drop this week. Depending on when you're watching this video, it's probably already dropped. If it, if it already dropped, regardless, it's going to be down. You can get the playbook in the description box below in the Beast Out You Coaches Brotherhood, okay? So if you're interested in getting that playbook in any of my playbooks, because all of, once you join the Brotherhood, all of my playbooks are free to you, okay? All of my playbooks are free to you. If you join the Beast Out You Coaches Brotherhood, you can get the Maryland Eye Formation Playbook, the RPO Playbook, the beast out you base set in the supersets playbook if that's something that you're interested in but guys when when i first started coaching youth football way back when i was 20 years old just came home from the air force and i didn't know what i wanted to do and i was at my i literally was at my mom's in my mom and dad's house and my two nephews i had two i got two nephews who wanted to play football and of course i was you know i was out of high school for only about two three years at this time and i said okay i'm gonna start a youth football team and you know see what we do and the maryland i formation was one of the formations in my package and literally it was the best formation in my package that i had because it was so dominant with the amount of running backs I had. I had, three, well, no, I had four really good running backs. And you guys probably know why I'm being on a four running back system because I've seen the benefits of running four running backs opposed to two running backs. Anyways, I had four running backs. I had a speed demon. I had a really big, powerful running back. That was my main running back. Then I had a balanced um, runner, which I made my quarterback, but he was so naturally instinctive and elusive. He was really the playmaker on the team, kind of ran like a Michael Vick type. He was a Michael Vick type of kid. And then I had another speed demon at running back. So I had two speed guys, a power guy, and a balanced guy. And that, that was my running back, Guntlin. And so guess what, the Maryland Eye, formation was perfect for it and, and not to mention i had a really good wide receiver tight end type of kid which was my nephew too so i actually had three nephews on the team i forgot about that i had three nephews on the team and you know my o-line wasn't big that's the thing and so like guys if you're thinking about like running the maryland eye formation and you have a small o-line this is a great formation for you because my biggest offense alignment on the 9U team was probably like 100 pounds. I kid you not. My running back, my big running back was bigger than any of my linemen. The kid that played center on my team, if I had the the, the roster, that kid would have probably been like a, like a, a tight end or a running back or something like that. He wasn't big, you know, but I had to do what I had to do that first year. I only had 15 players on my team that year. But needless to say, we were scoring 35 points per game. We, we had teams forfeiting in the third quarter with running the Maryland Eye formation. You know, the, the number one benefit, and I already said it, but it's the versatility. You got a lot of versatility running the Maryland Eye Formation. Number two, what you have is a lot of leverage. You have a lot of leverage in running the Maryland Eye Formation. I got something in my shoes, guys. Out here walking, in my walk-in. I think a nail or something tried to, to get me. But uh, one of the benefits of having leverage in the Maryland Eye is that you can go with an unbalanced line, and this this is something not in the traditional Maryland I formation. In the in the traditional Maryland I formation, you have 
a wide receiver that's out there kind of on the island with a cornerback. In the Beast Maryland I form, formation, and you'll see it in the playbook, I got a, just a jumbo set unbalanced line to whatever play side you want to go. And you got the beauty of you can run in that play side like, like you're running in the Beast offense, right? Send all your guys that way. You can do quarterback keepers. You can run the fullback. You can run, you know, your three back or your four back. You can do any of that. But the beauty also is you can run a hell of a lot of counters. And, and that's what I love. You can run a ton of counters. You know, you can run a lot of orbit motion, misdirections, you know, wedges. You can do all the things that you want to do or you would do in the beast offense and some. That's the beauty, and some. And then number three, let's say you don't have a very talented team or stacked team, which let's just be honest. A lot of us maybe may only have like one or two, maybe three really talented kids running the ball, and we may have that one good kid on the line. You know, if you got that type of team, where you're playing really with a bunch of average players, kids who are not natural born, natural born, you know, talent. This is a good formation again, because any form, if you, if you guys been following me for a while, you probably already know, I love formations that give you leverage. Love formations to give you leverage, especially on the youth level, because you got to think about this. You a youth football coach, you're coaching kids. Kids are kids. If you beat up on a kid with double team blocks, you know, you're going second level, you're 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 really putting a lot of power and leverage on maybe one kid, even if it's their best kid. If a kid deal with enough, you know, get knocked on their butt, you're gonna take them out of the game mentally. And, and, and that's what I love to do. I love taking I love taking players and teams out of the game mentally as fast as I can. Because if I can win the mental game, coach, if I can win the mental game, chances are I'm gonna win the entire game. You take the wheel, and this is and this applies really to any level. You look at the University of Alabama, especially the teams back in like the 20, 2014, 15, 16. They would beat teams so bad, they'll just take the wheel out of them to win. And so I love running the Maryland Eye because, and this kind of going to my other benefit, it takes the wheel out of, out of teams when you are beating up on them. And when you're hitting, hitting them with misdirections or you got their cornerback on the island against your best receiver and you, you're throwing these home run balls or RPOs and you're winning. That's what it's about. That's the beauty of running the Maryland Eye formation. So that's it, coach, man. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, again, hit that like button to help me reach other coaches like you around this world. And also, if you wanna get your hands on the Maryland Eye playbook, just go down to the description, join the Beast Out You Coaches Brotherhood, and you get access not only to that, but to all of my playbooks, including the 4-4 Reaper defense. You name it. You, you get your hands on that and other resources. All right, coaches, that's it. Till next time, win more games, score more points, and beast out. Peace.